Hello friends, I'm Manak from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to our video tutorial series on StatPro. So friends, in the previous video, we had completed our model up to the base level or the plinth level. In this video, we'll complete our model up to G plus 1. So for getting started, we'll select this cursor, beams cursor and then we'll select the entire structure. After that, we'll go to the translation repeat. I want to translation repeat in the y direction. So I'll click y here and spacing float to floor height. That is, I want to keep approximately 10 feet 6 inch. That is 3.2 meters. So I'll keep this as 3.2 will change automatically. Number of steps I want one because I have some changes to do in my ground floor slab level. I'll not link steps because I want to create my columns on my own and then I'll click on OK. As you can see that now using the arrow buttons I can rotate the model up and down and along the sides. So now I'll insert my columns but it will be added as a beams now. Later while defining the property I can assign those beams as columns. So I'll go to add beams and then I'll join in all the columns and while adding columns it is also recommended that you open your architectural plan for reference you can see in our plan these are the columns so we'll insert columns at these points only so let's continue adding beams So friends, the model of our building up to ground floor level has been complete. In the next video, we'll move forward and complete our model. So please let us know how are you finding this video tutorial series. And if you want any changes or any suggestions, please comment below. Bye.